Welcome to the fourth video of the CSGO skin making tutorial using free and open source tools. In the last video we baked the diffuse and normal maps of the Glock extravagant skin. Now we will import the images to GIMP where we will create the TGA files and then create the VTF files of the maps using the VTF edit tool. GIMP can be downloaded from GIMP.org. I will post the link in the description. As I explained in the first video of this tutorial series, GIMP is a free and open source tool that I use for photo editing. It's one of the good free and open source alternatives to Photoshop. Download and install GIMP so that we can start working on our baked images. When you have GIMP ready on your computer, right click on one of the diffuse pictures and open it with GIMP. We want to combine our images into one image and add an alpha channel to it. So import the rest of the images to the same tab by going to File, Open as Layers, and choose the other two diffuse images. Now we have all parts of the diffuse map, but they are separated into layers. One way to combine them into one layer is to merge the layers together using the Merge Layers button. But personally I prefer to keep the layers as they are because they can make my life easier later. So instead, I prefer to right-click on one of the layers and choose New from Visible. Now we have one layer that has everything. If we hide the other layers, we can still see the full image. Now we need to work on the alpha channel. In CSGO, the alpha channel of a skin controls how fast it wears out. If you don't add an alpha channel, the skin can look worn out even in factory new state. So, the way you control the alpha channel in GIMP is by adding a layer mask. Right click on the visible layer and choose add layer mask. And make sure it's set to white and click add. Now we have a new square next to the visible layer and it is selected. You know which layer is selected by the white highlight around the square. But we can't really see it now because the layer mask is also white. Try switching between the layers to see the highlight. It's always very important to make sure that you are working on the right layer. Currently the layer mask is white. In order to control the wearing of the skin we need to assign darker values to the mask. We can assign different values to different parts of the UV sheet. For example, we might want to make it harder for the golden parts to wear. In order to do that select the gold UV layer. Hide the other layers in order to see what we do better. Now choose the Fuzzy Select tool and click anywhere on the empty areas. Now we have selected everything that's not part of the golden areas. Let's invert the selection by pressing Ctrl I. And now we have the golden parts selected. Hide the gold UV layer and show the visible layer again. Select the layer mask and choose the Bucket Fill tool. Choose a dark color with which we'll fill the selected area. Something between black and white. Now go over the selected area and left click on it. Now we can see that it became very transparent. We can also see on the right that a dark value has been added to the layer mask. Let's move on to the other parts. I'll give the body and the mag the same alpha values. So all that we have to do is to press Ctrl I to invert the selection again. And now we have selected everything that isn't gold. Let's choose a lighter value than before. And fill the selection with it. Now the wooden parts look less transparent than the golden ones because we use the lighter color. Now we're done with the alpha channel and our UV sheet is ready. Let's export the image into a TGA format. You can export an image by pressing shift Control e Name the file to something like uv underscore sheet and make sure to add the TGA extension. Click export. Also don't forget to save the GIMP file somewhere because we'll need it again in a later video. Now it's the normal map's turn. Right click on one of the normal map images and open it with GIMP. Import the other image by going to File, Open as Layers, and choose the image. Now we can see that the image in the top layer covers the one underneath it. 
In order to fix that, click on the top layer, then click on the mode drop-down list and choose Grain Merge. Now we can see the full normal map. Export the image to a TGA file like before. Click on Shift Ctrl E and name the file as normal.tga. Now we have our two TGA files. However, in addition to those two files, CSGO also requires us to upload the diffuse and normal maps in VTF format. For that, we will need the VTF edit tool. This tool can be downloaded from gamebanana.com. I will post the link in the description. Open it after you install it. Let's start by importing the uvsheet.tga file. Click on the import button that looks like a blank page and choose the file. Make sure that the options dialog is identical to mine. Normal format should be DXT1, alpha format DXT5, and width and height set to 2048. Click OK and wait until it loads. Now we see the UV with the alpha channel. You can view the UV without the alpha by going to view and unchecking the mask option. Note that this, not, this does not remove the alpha from the TGA file. It just removes it from the view. Save the file to whatever you want. I'll call it UV underscore sheet. And now we have the VTF file of the UV sheet. We do the same with the normal TGA file. No need to change any options. I'll save it as normal.vtf. Now we have our files ready for now. We will go back to them and do some modifications in a later video. However, in the next video I will talk about the workbench of CSGO and will show how to view the skin there.